Do you sleep hot or cold? Do you wake up in a sweat or shivering? Do you toss and turn because your body just can't find the right temperature? If so, stay tabbed because I'm reviewing the Cryo Chili Pad. This is Twit. Hands on Tech is brought to you by Epson's EcoTank Printers. This holiday season, kiss expensive cartridges goodbye. Check out Epson.com slash EcoTank Leo to learn more. I'm Father Robert Ballasier, the digital Jesuit, and I'm a fan of sleep tech. According to a totally dependable poll I once saw on Reddit, the average person cumulatively spends more than 65 years in bed over a lifetime. So it makes sense to try to maximize the comfort of those six and a half decades, or probably more accurately, about eight hours a day. Now that's why I was excited when Cryo sent me one of their chili pads. Now I've been eyeing this sleep tech since CES 2018 because it claimed to address my biggest problem while sleeping. I hate sleeping hot. The idea is relatively simple. Create a device that can heat or cool water, then circulate that water through a mattress pad to heat or cool your sleeping area to your desired comfort temperature. It's definitely a simple idea, but complicated to do properly. The way that the chili pad does it is through a two-part system comprised of the cube control unit and the hydronic pad, starting at $600. The cube measures about 9.5 inches long, 10.5 inches wide, and 7.5 inches high, with an interior 390 milliliter water reservoir. It uses a reversible heat pump to heat or cool that water between 55 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit, then it circulates it through the hydronic pad. It comes with a remote control so that the cube doesn't have to be immediately accessible after your installation, and it's designed to automatically protect itself by shutting off should the reservoir fall below a safe operating level. The hydronic pad comes in sizes from twin all the way up to California King, and it uses several meters of 3.2 millimeter silicone tubing integrated into the pad to flow the water through the entire surface. It has an eight foot tail for connecting the hydronic pad to the cube, and the pad is machine washable and uses polyfill so that you can place your fitted sheet directly over the pad. Using the chili pad starts by stripping your bed so that you can lay the pad on the mattress. There's an elastic band attached to the pad that secures it to the mattress so that it doesn't slide out of position. You can position the tail at the head or the foot of your bed depending on where you want to house the cube control unit. Now speaking of the cube, you'll need a flat surface on which to place it. The spot needs to have two feet of uninterrupted airflow on all sides as the cube's going to need that airflow to properly operate the heat pump. Once you've got a location for the cube, connect it to the tail from the hydronic pad, then plug the cube into a power outlet. Unscrew the cap to the cube's water reservoir, which should always be facing upwards, and fill it with distilled water. Now, distilled is optional in the manual, but for me, any water circulation device should avoid regular or softened water because that will cause mineral buildup over time. This is tech that we want to be using for years, if not decades, so let's treat it right. After filling the cube, turn it on and set the temp to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. As the water circulates through the tubes in the hydronic pad, the water level in the reservoir will drop. Go ahead and refill it until it stabilizes, then cap the tank. While the pad is still uncovered, go ahead and make sure that it reaches your desired temperature, testing both the heating and cooling functions. If everything checks out, you can redress your bed, minus your old pad, and you've just finished installation. Now that's how the tech works, but the question is, how does it feel? In a word, heavenly. Now I've never had an experience where the bed kept me at my perfect sleeping temperature, and it is so much better than what I've done in the past. I love sleeping cold. I keep my windows open in the winter. I blow fans on myself in the summer, but that always causes discomfort because no matter how cool I make my room, I'm still building up heat in my mattress, and that causes me to toss and turn. With the chili pad, and once I had a few nights to dial it in, I was able to sleep all through the night, waking up in the same position that I was in when I went to bed. Not only that, but cooling just the bed is far more energy efficient than trying to cool the entire room or the entire house. This is one of those sleep technologies that will spoil you for regular mattresses because it is just so much more comfortable. Better yet, because the modular design of the chili pad allows you to multi-zone your bed, that means that if you share it with a partner, they can set their side of the bed at a different temperature than your side. You can have your 55-degree igloo while they enjoy sleeping on a warm 110-degree beach. 
Now, it should be noted that while the cube can heat or cool the water between 55 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit, that's not necessarily going to be the temperature of the pad itself. Those pesky laws of thermodynamics mean that the temperature of the room, the mattress, your body, and the thermal conductivity of your bedding will all affect the temperature that you feel. For me, setting the cube to 60 meant that my bed stayed at about 72 degrees, which was perfect, but that's just me. I was really impressed by the chili pad, but that's not to say that it's for everybody. If you don't currently have heat-related sleeping issues, then you might not fully appreciate the chili pad. Also, if you're an extra light sleeper, the pump and fan could potentially wake you. Barring that, this is a fantastic piece of tech that I recommend for anybody who thinks that they can get a better night's sleep with better heat management. I'm Father Robert Balasser, the Digital Jesuit, and if you're looking for some better sleep, get your hands on this hot and cold tech. Until next time. Hands on Tech is brought to you by my favorite printer company, Epson. This holiday season, kiss expensive ink cartridges goodbye. The Epson EcoTank printer comes with a ridiculous amount of ink in the box, so you can print thousands of pages. It has supersized, easy-to-fill ink tanks, which means you never hassle with buying or changing ink cartridges again. So when you're thinking about the perfect holiday gift, add the EcoTank printer to your holiday shopping list so you can just fill and chill. Check out Epson EcoTank printers at Best Buy, at Staples, or, of course, Epson. Dot com slash ecotank leah keep up with all the hottest tech news and gadgets visit twit.tv there you'll be able to find and subscribe to all our tech shows thanks for watching hands on tech